The US dollar is a threat to the Canadian dollar. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, everyone knows the US dollar has been falling for a long time now, and it's expected that the American dollar is going to continue falling. Now, the, Uni the United States is Canada's largest trading partner. The US buys approximately 81% of what Canada exports. So, of course, of all the exchange rates in the world, the most important exchange rate to the Canadian dollar and to Canada is the US dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate. Now, what's happening is, as the American dollar continues to fall, then uh, Americans then will buy less goods from Canada because it now costs them more because they now have weaker dollars. Now this is then devastating for the Canadian economy because of course America buys 81% of what Canada exports. If their dollar becomes weaker, they'll buy less and then the economy, the Canadian economy, then of course gets pulled down. Now the Canadian government as well as the Bank of Canada has already stated that they're not going to let this happen. And they've already been threatening for weeks now to intervene. But see, you have to realize though, it's not that the Canadian dollar is rising. Compared to other major currencies of the world, the Canadian dollar really hasn't changed all that much. It's simply that the American dollar is falling. That's the issue here. Now, uh, Mark Carney has already been quoted as saying, quote, intervention is always an option, end quote. He's even stated... Uh, uh, intervening, intervening possibly by uh, quantitative easing, which is just a fancy way of saying printing of money out of thin air. Another uh, thing he's mentioned as well is uh, uh, selling the Canadian dollar on, on the open market to also uh, get the value to go down. You know, so that's you know, in my opinion, what I how I feel the U.S. dollar is a threat to the Canadian dollar because. You know, the U.S. dollar is expected to continue falling in the years to come, and the more and more it falls, the more uh, the Canadian dollar, or the, the, the more the Canadian government as well as Bank of Canada will have to intervene to push, artificially push and manipulate the Canadian dollar down to stay competitive with the American dollar. So basically, if the American dollar falls off a cliff, the Canadian government and Bank of Canada are going to have to push the Canadian dollar off the cliff, you know, with the American dollar. Uh, to stay competitive because, of course, they are our largest trading partner. So, uh, what does that mean then? You know, if the Canadian government is, in fact, going to intervene, what does that mean? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. Everyone says to Americans, get out of the U.S. dollar and buy gold and silver to hedge against the falling dollar. Now, if you're going to anticipate that the government will intervene and push the Canadian dollar down with the American dollar, basically that means you're uh, uh, anticipating that the Canadian dollar will fall as well due to intervention. So what does that mean? It means gold not only will go up in American dollars, but it will go up in Canadian dollars as well. So I would say the same rule that applies to Americans applies to Canadians, buy gold. Now, I do believe the fundamentals for the Canadian dollar are good, assuming the government does not intervene. If they don't intervene, now I, I believe they are going to intervene, but if they don't, I believe the Canadian dollar will stay st uh, strong and it will continue to rise even beyond parity. Now, uh, uh, reasons for that, of course, is uh, Canada's unemployment rate is at least a full percent lower than the United States. Canada's all, uh, also, uh, their uh, uh, debt to GDP ratio is also quite a bit lower than the United States. And also Canada's dollar, the Canadian dollar, is considered to be indirect uh, backed by oil due to the fact that Canada is a huge exporter of oil. Therefore, when the price of oil goes up, the Canadian dollar will tend to go up with it. And of course, the price of oil is expected to continue going up in the future. Therefore, the Canadian dollar should also go up. I mean, in my opinion, it should go up based on, on those facts there. Again, assuming that the Canadian government and Bank of Canada does not intervene, and they've been threatening for weeks now. So... To put it simple, like I said, buy gold, whether you're Amer an American or Canadian, buy gold. And, you know, assume that the government will intervene. And, uh, hey, if they don't intervene, I mean, that's also uh, good for Canadians as well, because the Canadian dollar will continue rising, at least relative to the American dollar. So, you know, it's cheaper uh, for Canadians that, that want to go south on vacation.
But anyway, uh, this is, is all my opinion. You know, I'm not saying I'm right or I'm wrong. It's just simply my opinion. I'm just, you know, an, an average guy that basically looks at the writing on the wall and, and uh, you know, I make my own conclusions based on the evidence that, that's uh, put in front of me. So uh, I would love to hear other people's opinions. You know, what do you think of that? Uh, you know, again, you're not right or, or wrong. It's your opinion, just like I have mine. So, uh, uh, one other thing too, uh, just one last thing before I go, it's also uh, interesting to note that Mark Carney, the uh, Bank of Canada governor, also was a former employee of Goldman Sachs and actually worked with them for 13 years. Goldman Sachs, of course, being one of the uh, U.S. Uh, companies that was uh, bailed out by American taxpayers. So, I mean, it is interesting to know that now uh, he's running the Bank of Canada, he has uh, full control over Canada's printing press and therefore Canada's money supply. So it's an interesting fact to know. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening and, and uh, feel free to post a comment. Thanks.